So my dad beat me with his whip all around my face. 71-year-old Ramon Aguirre says his journey to living in Oconomowoc started with horrible abuse by his father growing up on a farm in Mexico, his father threatening his life. He pulls the gun on me, and I hear the click. And I, I felt, oh, I'm dead. So he ran away and ended up homeless on the streets of Mexico City. And find uh, fruit and, and, and um, in the garbage. That's, where, that's how I uh, fed myself. Ramon's story is now told in the book, Ramon, An Immigrant's Journey. I never told my father that I was being raped because I know that I can count on him for nothing. But thanks to the help of strangers, relatives, and hard work, Ramon eventually landed in Chicago. I went from a worker to a foreman to, to, to a supervisor. Ramon eventually fell in love with a Wisconsin businessman, Tom Snyder, and they made a life together until Tom died. I don't know who fell in love with who first. If he, fall, he fell in love with me first, or I fall in love with him. All I can tell you, there was 42 wonderful years. Ramon's journey brought him here to Oconomowoc, where he became a U.S. citizen. If I were to put a bow on your experience coming to America, how would you describe it? A wonderful journey. My little fantasy world that I had when I was little, I'm living in, in reality. In Oconomowoc, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. Ramon now helps local charities. He's dedicated his book to all of the families who lost their loved ones on the journey to cross the border between Mexico and the United States.